many of our friends and our neighbors impacted by this storm. Welcome in everyone here to ABC Action News at 530. I'm Paul Legrone. Great to be back with you here tonight. And today we have listened as so many of you told us this storm was unlike anything that you had ever seen before. So tonight our own Michael Paluska kicking off our team coverage in town and country where he found that buried beneath all that rubble, hope is far from lost. This is what it looks like across the Bay Area. This is just one home that was flooded, all their stuff piled feet high, and luckily the neighbors are coming together to help this mom. They're going to take some of the stuff they might be able to save, and they're going to store it in their garage for her. Piles of debris, flooded cars on tow trucks, families struggling to make sense of it all, like this mother of two, Juliana Kalig. She was in her Baycrest home when the water came crashing in. My children were amazingly, they slept through it. And I'm so thankful because one of them has special needs. My daughter was asleep on the couch. My son was on the bed. They were safe. We had closer to ankle deep water. She broke three fingers trying to close her garage door after the power went out. Oh, you got a lot going on. I don't know how to answer. You know, some people said, how do I help? Depends on the, mo <laughs> Depends on the moment. We had a neighbor loan us this vehicle. He said, our, our, our little girl's away at college. You can have it for a little bit. And then the tide came in. As the tide came in, it got uglier and uglier. Tim Vorkink captured the rise in real time from his second story condo in town and country, posting it all on Instagram. And the wind is, is kind of still pushing hard, so be careful, be safe. All of his neighbors on the first floor flooded, about 70 units. Oh, some of these people are just double whammied. They haven't had power back on yet. Yeah, no, you can see the water line back there. Nancy Herrera showed us her flooded out car. Luckily, she too is on the second floor. And I came outside to look up front and the water was just coming like a river Man. down like that. And it just happened so quickly, yeah. so quickly. Cars started, lights going off, flashing windshield wipers as the electronics started getting affected by yeah. the water rising. I'm very thankful that uh, for God's hand upon us and that we were spared. Uh, we have our, our lives, we have our home. Refrigerator, vanity, couch. Another homeowner, same story. The stuff inside reduced to piles of trash. This was all underwater to five feet. And a long road to recovery. It's just gonna be months, months. I was told that some people had their homes just completely taken off the slab, yeah. so I know that it's not just us, and I know that we will pull together and find a way to rebuild. In Hillsborough County with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.